What's going on YouTube, GSNO right here. Today with some good news for those of you using the check rain jailbreak. If you have an older device lying around, you might soon be able to use that to jailbreak your normal check rain device. So developer Dora2 iOS posted this, a video showing rain pock 14, basically an application that apparently they have over here, which allows you to jailbreak another device using check rain directly from your iPhone. So let me put this simply, let's say you have an iPod, an older iPod that supports check rain and you have an iPhone iPhone 10 or I don't know iPhone 8 and so on that you use primarily that you want to jailbreak with Checkrain. Well with this you can actually use the older iPod in order to jailbreak your iPhone 8 or 10 or whatever. You don't need a computer anymore for Checkrain if you have this. You can basically take advantage of an older iOS device. So the application in there allows you to do verbose boot and use recovery mode as well and stuff like that. So you can see here they are actually jailbreaking their device from their iPhone. That basically would negate completely the need for a computer if you're a Checkrain user. Instead of buying a Mac in order to be able to check rain your device or using Linux and stuff like that, you can buy a secondhand iPod or iPhone 6 or stuff like that, which is dirt cheap nowadays, and just use that in order to jailbreak your main device, which is actually nice. Because normally, check rain is a computer application, is this one over here. You normally would connect your device to the computer, toggle these over here, and follow the instructions on the screen. And that would actually require a Mac. Surprisingly enough, check rain is only available officially for Mac OS and Linux. And on Linux, is actually pretty bad and by that I mean it may not be compatible with all Linux distributions out there and not with all devices for example if you have a Raspberry Pi 0 or 0W or even Raspberry Pi 3 it will not work with Checkrain it will fail there will be a lot of issues with the USB stack so even on Linux you need specific devices that would actually work while this method essentially allows you to just jailbreak your other device from an application on a secondary device they also posted in here that this can be used by connecting an iPhone or iPad running 14.8.1 or lower on A11 or lower to the iPhone or iPad. You need to jailbreak to install this application, but if you have a version that is compatible with the Core Trust bug, which allows you to basically sign forever on 14.0 to 15.4.1, it will work fine even in unjailbroken state. So you can actually install this application not only on a checkrain device, it works on any device. So for example, if you have a newer device like an iPhone XS Max 13 and so on, you're able to install this application, you will be able to use that newer device to jailbreak your older Checkrain compatible device as well. So no computer needed at all. And this would actually work with Checkrain and it works with whatever Checkrain supports, which for the moment is 14.8.1 all the way down to 12. So you will be able to jailbreak a lot of devices. Checkrain supports currently the iPhone 10 and older, so basically iPhone 5S through iPhone 10, and it's actually quite great. Once Checkrain gets support for iOS 15, it would be even more useful. So I'm looking forward for Rain. POC 14. Now if you're here for jailbreaking on newer devices, definitely check out the article I put today on my website on iDeviceCentral.com about the Chaos jailbreak on 15.0 to 15.1.1. Here you can see the latest details and the latest progress about that jailbreak. Thank you for watching, I am GS Now. until the next time, peace out.